Hi everyone, Zelda Irish here. We're finally in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We are jumping into the third game. We finished number one, we finished number two, and this is our Paragon playthrough as our female shepherd. So we're going to start number three. Today's a big, going to be a big day today, guys. We finally, start the ending of the game. We've made it. Been excited to actually play this one. Now the story I find is kind of takes a step back in this in this game, but the combat and the gameplay just where they nailed it in this one. My favorite game of the three is number two, then number one, and then number three. So I'm pretty excited to start this one. Kind of reminds me of a. Um, of number one, the screen. Now let me know how the audio is going to be. Never know that. I turned it up a little bit so you guys can hear a little better. Okay, new game. Import character. Irish Shepherd. This is her character. <coughs> She's an engineer, war hero. Uh, we created it back. Whoa, we're going four months ago. That's crazy. And that's where I last saved. So we saved the Rachni Queen. We rescued Ashley from Vermeer. We chose saved council. Saved uh, Meladon's data. That's the uh, what's it called the 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 thing that affects the Krogans. Um, we kept Rex alive. Chose to rewrite to get uh, heretics. Destroyed the collector base. Survived Sune, a suicide mission with 12 squad mates, which is everybody. Uh, we wrote romance Liara uh, before uh, Mass Effect 2, and we romance Garrus in the last one, too, so that's pretty good. Here we go. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's a long time since I played this, so pretty excited to be honest. That's the face. We're not gonna change. We're saying as engineer. That's it. There we go. Number three. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. We warned them, and we're listening. The Reapers are coming. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. Here we go. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral. You look good, Shepard. 
Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? <laughs> it's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is, though. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You face down at them. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the grave. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Ashley. <coughs> Excuse me. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How's it going? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. I wonder if you're a renegade, do you have the scar still, or is that heals in this one? Admiral Anderson, Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is. It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? We don't know. Stop. Didn't listen to the first place. This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we must contact the moon base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Most futuristic cameras we could have, and they get a little bit more footage. Oh, well, they're here. They came for Earth straight away. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? Give me a ship. The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy.
And game over, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. those drones before number two come on we'll have to go this way looks to here let's go lieutenant commander you read me i'm patching in shepherd this is the first time we actually this is the first time we actually come out with uh anderson Any powers? Um, Things out the old fashioned way. Don't let him grab you. He sees us. Okay, we just leave a kid there. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocents will die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. more time we knew they were coming and they still just cut through our defenses we need to go to the citadel talk to the council the citadel the fight's here it'll be everywhere soon enough you said it yourself <sighs> the reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them the council has to help us <clears throat> you sure about that no, but you're a Council Spectre. 
That has to count for something. Gotcha. <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. What? Grab some ammo. Reload. Let's keep moving. There it goes. That does not stand a chance. No! Knew it. God damn it. Every time you got knocked back like that. Batarians. Send a drone out there. Finish them all. Chapman, over here. Hold on, guys. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You got a radio? We tried to contact our ship. Okay, let's go. What the frick was that? What the hell are those things? They're like Batarians. So my my theory is that when we shut off the mass relay to uh, all the Batarian worlds, they still uh, went there, harvest them all, turn them on husks, and now they're, they're full soldiers. Futuristic things, everything's so big. Normandy, this is Anderson. Nice. Yeah, it's not a machine gun. What's your location? By a down gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send the port. We've got wounded down here. Uh, uh, Lieutenant! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. We gotta hold these guys up. We never got to really use an assault rifle with this character. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. More of 
ammo. Gonna raid this bitch. Is this? Oh, thank God. Thank you, Joker. They changed the paint on it. It's a fight we can't win, not without help. We need every species and all their ships who even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Yeah, uh, here we go again. Makes you really hate the Reapers, no? Carnage in space, is everything's dead. Mass Effect Tree. Through. 
Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to form a outpost on Mars. We lose control of the system. Yes, sir. Mostly already did. New Shadow Broker. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars. Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war. Grab your gear. I think you can customize guns and everything in this one. I actually like the new the Normandy the way it looks now. I mean, we just took all Cerberus' equipment and just put a paint job on it and called their lines. A few points here. I love the combat drawn. I did. Didn't give me a choice. Are we make it do more damage or give it more shields. Hey, let's do more damage and nice sentry turret increase weapon capacity I like the sound of that. Increase combat drone and sentry shields. Oh, yeah. I like that. Five of points. Let's get this anti truck on the go. So we can actually get it. Five enough points now. Put points in fitness, I guess. Okay, Ashley. I love concussive shot. Let's just get that with three for now. Let's get our grenades up a bit too. Handy to have. Alliance officer, let's get that up. Um, I don't really care about health. More, the damage they do is better, I think, in my opinion. 
he a sniper now or what? Okay. Let's give her this. I like this ammo. What's this guy's name again? James. He's a, he's basically the new Jacob. Nobody cares. Let's get him to do more damage. Carnage. Oh, we haven't the Carnage in a long time. Did they remove Carnage in the second game? So do you need four points for this? Increased damage. Yeah. Okay. What weapons have I got? Some machine gun. Okay. The joys of being an engineer. Man, that's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger in person. Come on, Lieutenant. It's not that bad. Doesn't mean it can't kill us. I'm more worried about the war back on Earth, or the fact that nobody here is reporting in. Fair enough. Can't wait to get new weapons. I don't really like these guns. Alright. Let's make our way down, I guess. And where do we go? Approach the facility. Oh, <laughs> where am I going? God, it's been a long time, guys. Oh, there's a letter over here. What's oh, that? nice. Service. They know we're here now. Got that. Hard up. I love my drone. on the old work. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Kind of suggests they had help from the inside. Seems likely. You need a lot more men and firepower to take this place otherwise. Get inside. I need a straight answer, Shepard. How am I supposed to know? Forces to take down the collectors. 
that's it. They rebuilt you from scratch. They give your ship, resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I just... I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. Could have been a bit nicer there, though. And she has a right to be suspicious, right? Please trust me. I do. It's just that. Lyra. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, it was difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Packet ordered us to come. He said you know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here? On Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination. Mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a Shadow Broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you. Like that, but under the circumstances, I think I can forgive you. You're too kind. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... ...just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the archives. We got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But Let's do it just uh, as you're told. Now, Lieutenant. This guy, I swear. They're getting closer. We should take cover. Forever. They've 
Ei, vem mesmo. This is a secure station. How did Cerberus get in? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful, but I suppose anything's possible. Uh, they just try to give him brute force. That's the server's way. Upgrades. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but Paint, did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Ivacore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Headway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. That guy's coming. No? Anytime door highlights it, I usually think I'm running in. I love the engineer in this... this number three. So powerful. Look at that. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives. Once Cerberus is across, they're at the final security checkpoint. And that's where we're headed. Go. Barely. Storm's causing interference. I didn't read that, James. Repeat. Show Dehan Cameron Harrison. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing in my files? Get her out of here. I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who will be gone next week. Damn strangers, who do they think they know? Who do they know at all? Who think they know at all, but they don't care about what they're really trying to achieve here? Dr. Eva, seriously? Don't you remember what, what happened last time? Yes. Show. Sure. Level up. Oh, is Liara level up? Can I upgrade my tech mastery now? I also need six. No, how about my sentry? I still haven't used that yet. I should really be using that. Let's get her up the attics up. Power force. Weapon damage. Let's make her powers better. Nice. Singularity is going to be good. So let's give her some warp ammo. Always handy. Yeah. 
and stasis. Why not? This is the last point. I have two. I could always just put it into fitness. Let's see, uh, let's throw a grenade in there. Singularity. <laughs> Those guys <laughs> they didn't have a chance to do. That was awesome. it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends, loved ones, what I'd lose if I failed. Me too. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. I don't know, I, if I was Shepard I would never take my helmet off. Even though this place is pressurized. Oh, they depressurize it again. I just do the drone. My little turret. You play a lot of servers in this game. <laughs> My little drone is going to town on these guys. And they're her in there. Grenade them. Singularity. Again, grenade, singularity. Can't see anything. 
You smoke grenade? Stand again. I'm drawing in behind them. It's in the turret in there too. Can you grenade them please? And can you singularity on these guys? To the job. Smell. They just activated the decontamination protocols with the staff still inside. Got it. You go in now. This is where they studied the various relics on Earth here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Espinanza. Not been able to decipher much, if any. Of the language yet but the visual documentation gives us a good idea or some idea as to what they were studying namely us they seem particularly interested in the early human uh, evolution process judging by the way they organized their files and highlighted specific organ uh, occasions it seems a bit fantastic to write this but everything indicates they seem to be trying to chart and curve humanity's intellectual uh, progression Interesting. We need to get to there. So I need to move these. Alright guys, get out of there. Is it Can I go in there? I think so. Still blocking the way. There we go. Oh, something else. Whoa. Come on, pick it up. Here we go. That's the tram line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. I know, I was just checking down there at first. You never know what you could miss. Shotgun now. Look out. No kidding. Is that the only way in? It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you. Don't save. Keep moving. Damn it. And get me. All these boxes are cleanly light at first, like this. The turret can't fire on us from here. Oh. 
Hey, open the door. Jeez. That was easy. Shut that thing down. Set up a perimeter. No one else comes across. We still have teams on the other side. No one. And shut down those cameras. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And it looks like they won't be sitting a tram anytime soon. Can you override it? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not completely. What if we could find a short-range transmitter? Helmet to helmet. And? And then we convince them that we're with them. And the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Lieutenant Commander has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. Getting jealous or something? What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can, oh, oh God, he looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. They've definitely done something to him. Engineered by Cerberus, they claim to stand for humanity, and they do this to their own people. That could have been you, Shepard. For all I knew, that's what Cerberus had done to you. How can you compare me to that thing? I don't know what you are. Not since they got their hands on you. Is it really you? Would you even know if they were controlling you somehow? That's not fair, Ash. I'm just talking out loud. I don't need you to answer. I, I doubt there's anything you could say to convince me. I guess I just need some time to get to know you again. I'm the same person I always was. Time won't change that. But if that's what you need, I understand. Thanks. For understanding. You bet. Let's see if we can get that tram sent over here. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell are you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Elsie. Yep. Where's the tram gun? Got it. Oh crap. Here they come. Got it. Okay, let's grenade these guys. Singularity. Let's send a turret over there. And as soon as my drone's done. I hate these guys. I think I have to snipe it up. Oh, took his head off. Okay, all clear. Rock and roll. Archives are right at the other side. That and 
They knew it. The weapons have such a better feel. this guy Where to go Sniper this let's get the right behind them Combat drone saves the day once again. That's the best thing ever. Oh, nice. Like a beacon. This guy. Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Partly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proved that. That base was an abomination. Hundreds of thousands of humans were murdered there. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources and I'll stop them. 
You do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool. An agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara? Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey! Step away from the console. Now! She's got the data! She's faster than she looks. Stay close! We can't lose her! Let's go, go, go. Damn it. What the hell? Stay on her. She's getting away. I know, I'm gonna climb the freaking ladder here. I guess the ship is a lot tougher. I think our mask didn't break.
Oh, here they come. Let's get out of here. Where's Dr. Chuck was when you need her? Finger of war. Hmm. needs medical attention we have to leave the soul system I know the Citadel is our best chance we can find help there get us to the Citadel Joker Roger that hold on Ash see what you and Edie can learn from that thing commander I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC I believe it's Admiral Hackett patch me through So much is happening right now. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Tiara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? Edie is extracting data from a Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Ashley and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. I'm back in the suit now. Music from the first game, from the first end of the second game.
I mean, there's the volume all over the place in this game so far. People seem quiet. Barely got a pulse here. And Move him out. some of the sound effects are real loud. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the council. Right. Haley? Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Oh, promotion. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the council? I'm here to tell you the council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. Bye, baby. Out of the garrison for a second. who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. The mouth she has on. What the? I've never seen them actually walk around like that. War asset. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palaver. Before the fair. Are we here talking to this guy? You can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, so supposedly the system is going to be fine. Uh, where do we go? Commander Shepard, please select a destination. Let's go to the hospital and see how Ashley's doing. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Huerta. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to go if you only want to talk to a medical staff. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. Welcome to Serta. I'll be my flowers. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Humans are our allies. We don't trust them. Serta is a non profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Thank you for shopping. Bought all our stock. Shopaholic. <laughs> Oh, that Chakwas. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? 
I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouterwards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley Why is the Shabaholic thing not going away? How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. Oh, there we go. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Yeah, you got chocolate back. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. We talk to any of guys? No. Okay. Why is this guy on the ground? And this is even before the Reapers got here. There she is. Why am I allowed to walk around here? Sorry, guy. Losing his leg. Okay. Let's get a move on. I guess we'll come back and check on Ashley later. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. I wonder if Garrus is here. I can't remember where we can get Garrus. Office suite. Vector office C sec is number one. Air Council office number two. 
Number three is Spectre Office. Kind of want to go there. What's the office speed? Kind of run very fast here. Okay, kind of could be running over there. So let's go take the Spectre's one, I guess. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jelani. The That's council's her. simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Goodbye. <laughs> Damn press. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, to why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> He's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days... It's pretty damn close. Thanks, Bailey. He's a good guy. I know he does bad stuff, but... Okay, what else have we got here? So... Let's go Spectres. Welcome. To the Spectre Information Processing Center, the terminal offers secure information access and support for all risk of co covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to uh, op operatives currently on active duty with a special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. The Quarium Pilgrim Gen Volan near, near Nazim and Nima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Then Volan purchased tech including high-end weapon mounts, kinetic barrier emitters for several ship service centers on Ilium. Another Quar Quarium Pilgrim unidentified was searching for a ship traveling close to the previous fail. The Pilgrim was later heard saying the pilgrimage was recalled. That is just as the Korean fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the pre previous fail. This, should, this could be reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer, offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Koreans may be instead preparing to conflict with the guest. Bad timing though. Any requisitions can we get? Can we get new weapons or... Nice. I want. Okay, we need a lot more money. I can afford any of this stuff yet. But we'll be back. Nah, I don't want to lose shooting range. Okay, good to know. Okay, let's speak with Edina now. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. 
If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. I'm gonna hate this guy. We've got our own problems, Hate him so much. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. He's getting pushed over here. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with you, Dina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding you. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Nothing, basically. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Use a shadow broker powers. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot in the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Nice.
Okay, so apparently we got more resources. Let's see if it gives any more money. Whatever. Well, let me in. Let me just see what I can get now. Can't give me any more money. And no updates. Okay. Yep, I guess we're gonna go find Garrus now or go to Palavan. Commander Shepard. Commander Commander Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shep. One moment, please. Let's get on the ship, get out of here. Not much more we can do here. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. The boy. Go so much faster than me. There he is. But, uh, why did it go so slow? Did. That got loud. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. 
But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory, where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. Okay, did we finally get to explore our ship yet? Nope. Commander. Dina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Fortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. We can explore the ship now. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are, war, are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how efficiently these war these assets perform in the final battle. We need the minimum. So 
this is our new meeting room, I guess. Got pushed to the side for the uh, war asset room, I guess. Kind of a bit of a mess, the ship compared to the last time. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, we could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Well, you know, it's so much darker now. See what Joker's up to. Been a long while since we've seen him. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Okay, let's have a look. A little explore around the ship. Oh, they've really changed it. And there's no door there now, so it's like a storage area. Come on. The messages. Stephen Hackett. Shepard. Alliance forces have stretched across the galaxy. Stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your Pacific talents in a series of box. These missions will open doors for Alliance in places we can't touch through con uh, conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to a service lab on Planet Sanctum. They'll brief you on, uh, on your inbound. Reinstatement. Hackett. Uh, the letter formally acknowledges your reinstatement as Alliance Navy Per Admiral David Henderson's uh, recent verbal communication. Under Emergency War uh, Powers Reg 903.5, you hereby authorize to resume command of the Normandy SR2. You are direct directed to begin in addiction operations against all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its in its colonies and its allies. Furthermore, you have gained diplomatic authority to establish treaties to non-human races required to support in your missions. Okay, emergency flash traffic urgent flash X alliance military personnel. This is a galaxy wide. 
just a warning. K K E I nine. My dog. Dear Commander Shepard, I was contracted to work in on the Normandy's uh, haptic interface when it was dry docked. Your VI ED emailed me to let me know I've left my dog mech on board. I will. I am all the way out in Terra Nova now. Would you hate and would hate for you to go a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog? Please take care of her. She is exploring, sniffing chemical trails and. 750 volt outlets please uh, thank you and sorry for the trouble i promise she won't be too much of a headache okay you know about the korean fleet welcome back while we were in dry dock joker suggested a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to, to have on hand should you restrain reinstate as commanding officer as a ship that does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested that he chose something uh, from the official systems analog catalog soldiers who have held on N7 designated for 5 years or more are entitled to come out with hooded jackets for a wear off duties you should find it in their cabin ok so clip Oh yeah, that's the guy from the Shadow Brokers. Okay. And uh, priority mission Eden Prime. Servers have taken the attack of Eden Prime and now uh, occupy the colony. Alliance forces have stretched too thin right now to attempt to liberate the colony. They're doing what we can to convertly aid the local resistance in process. We have learned Cerberus has uncovered a major protein fact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be a reason for the attack on the colony, and we need you to infiltrate the colony and recover it. Got a lot there to deal with. Let's go to the Captain's Cabin. I want to look at my armor. Casual. What's different from that to that? <laughs> Cerebrus armor. We had green last time, I like that. More like this green, with this one on it. Lights. Okay. And we have our N7 jacket on. Let's go check out the other rooms. Crew deck. The evening secret. These are the people we've lost so far. No one that I really recognize yet. Women's. Did she give us still give it out to us if we go on the men's? I just had it locked off now. What's in here? This retain used to be. Destiny Ascension. That was the Citadel. Um, 
poker. Councils, that was the council ship. Where does that seem? Can I have a drink anymore? He's already been in there. To the crew quarters. Have so much more just darker and more metallic, I guess. And this authorization room. I guess you can go there to relax. This used to be Miranda's room. The hours now. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? <laughs> okay. I'd like that more than anything, Liara. She's gonna bring up Kara, isn't she? I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay, just... Logs, but okay, I'm gonna go through all that. Okay, let's Thank speak with the rest of the group. The results are available on the information network terminal. Yeah, we we'll check in a few minutes. Commander, everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. 
The other picture of health. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Okay, we just store it out there, I guess. This is identical to the last ship. That is where the gun is operated from, I assume. Okay, hey, let's go down and check the last final floor. Oh, wait, we have engineering and then shuttle. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. This is where she stays. This is where, uh, they used to stay, I think. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you. And I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would bend into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. 
Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay. Engineering. Don't think there's anything down here right now. Just one more floor to check. Nope, wrong way. And that door's closed. We're gonna go in there. A little bit. I say I like this guy very much. Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primark from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was. Died with most of my squad, protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. Are you a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Lucky to be alive. So? So. 
Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Oh, it's a little dog. Stay. Good dog. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos. The Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. You were stationed on Earth. You have family there? I'm an only child. I lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. There we go. That's supposed to the crew spoken with. Now we can um, we can actually end the episode here today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to watch this. Uh, uploaded this it's gonna be uploaded on youtube on monday and if you want to catch these episodes live i play them on twitch every sunday morning so i hope you guys enjoyed that please hit that like and subscribe button and follow on twitch if you want to catch these live see you guys in the next one bye bye